Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem, which is part of Lead Code um, bi weekly contest 126. So, this is today's week bi weekly contest. The first problem is um, find the sum of encrypted integers. Um, so, basically, we have an array of positive numbers here that has um, a, 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 there is a function, let's call it encrypt, and the behavior of that function is that it replaces every digit. Um, in the number, so let's call the number x, with the largest one. Okay, so let's say we have 5 to 3. The largest digit is 5, so we want to replace all three numbers with 5. And so if we do that, we have 5, 5, 5, and so same thing here, the largest number is 3, we replace all three with 3. Once we do that for every number in the array, we want to sum up everything. Okay, so for example here, it's pretty simple because each number has one digit, so we just end up adding the numbers themselves. But if we look at this one, the largest number here is 1, so we have 1, 1 here. The largest number here is 2, so we have 2, 2. The largest number here is 3, so we have 3, 3. Okay, so that's what we have here, and then we sum up those, and that gives us 66. So that's the idea. Now, if you look here, the constraints are pretty small, so we can do like a fairly non-optimal solution. So let's just go with the first thing that comes to mind. What's the first thing that comes to mind? Well, it's just go through every number and just pick the largest digit, multiply it by the length of the list, multiply it not like uh, multiplication, but have it occur the same number of times as the number of digits, and then add everything up, right? So for that, let's just have an encrypted sum uh, that we return at the end. And then we will just go through these numbers and we will add up encrypted uh, with the number that we will end up encrypting. Right? Let's call it, let's call it just something like that. Okay, so now we need to uh, basically define that number. So how do we do it? Well, we need to go through every digit in the number. So how do we do that? Well, we can just convert the number to a string and then just go through every digit in that string. Now this would be a character, that's fine. Um, but we want to take the max, so we want to get the max. So how do we get it? Well, the max is going to be uh, just the max between whatever we have so far in D. Okay, now just to simplify this, it's also just going to be the max of um, S, because now S is, um, is a list, right? If, you, if it's easier for you, you can do it like that. Um, and so that would be the max of what we are looking for. So this is the max. Um, but now, let's just... This is good to practice to get it to is... If you are not sure about something, you just print it first before doing more logic. Um, so here, looks like this is not the same. So let's just make sure it is. But if you take a look, for example, for here, it's 1 two and three so we should be good okay so now what do we need to do well you can see here we realize that the max is two one three right so what do we do um so first let's just what we need to do here is find how many digits we have we have three and so let's just and what's the max the max is three so let's have three three times so that's exactly what we'll do here we'll say max is we have we have it as a string here, um, and we can just, if you multiply it by the length of the string, this will give you the same number three times. But again, let's just not trust our logic here. Let's just print it out and see what if that's correct. <coughs> so, and it looks like that's correct, okay? So now we have the encrypted, but as a string, so we need to convert it to an int. And now we can just add it to our encrypted sum. Okay, and we can actually just take this, add it like this, and that should be simpler, okay? And now we could just do this and submit. Okay, and that gets accepted. Um, okay, so that's one approach using um, using just converting to a string. What if we want not, we don't want to do that. We want to actually just, 
um, a way to get the digits of a number if you don't want to use the string approach is to just keep dividing it by 10. So for example, let's say I have this number. If I divide it by 10 first, I'll get 21. But what's the reminder? The reminder is uh, 3. If I divide 21 again, um, I will get... Um, so if I divide this by 10, I will actually get... Yeah, like this. Um, and then if I do, do it one more time, I'll get 1. Um, and then as a reminder, and then if I do it again, I'll get two. So I'll, I'll be able to get all the digits. So I, we can do a similar approach here. So we can do while the number is not zero, we can keep dividing by 10. But what do we need? Well, we want to know this is the digit, right? But what are we looking for for the max, right? We are looking for, let's for example, have it zero. Uh, we are looking for the max between zero and the digit so say max digit and mx okay so now we have the max but how do we know the length well we are not converting it to a string so we can't use the length here so what do we do instead well we are already going with the two and three we are already doing it um we are already doing it three times like the number of digits we have so let's just count how many we have Okay, so let's just count, um, and each time we divide, we just do count plus one. Okay, but if we do count plus one, the problem is again this is not a string that we can uh, multiply, and so if we do that, then it's going to be hard again because we'd have to convert to a string. But so instead of adding plus one, let's just multiply by ten. That way, for example, the first time we'll multiply by ten. We have 10. We multiply again by 10. We have 100. We multiply again by uh, 10. We'll have 1,000. Okay. Um, and so let's try this. But we need one here. Um, and this is going to be mx multiplied by count. Okay. This may be off by 0, I think. Yeah. So it's off by 0. So let's, uh, let's just do maybe... Mm, yeah, let's start with zero, and what we can do here is just say it's going to be, let's call this instead multiplication, and this is going to be just multiplication multiplied by 10 plus 1. Basically, that way, um, that way, first is zero, so multiply by, this is nothing, and then we get 1, um, and then we'll multiply by, um, so we need this to be the same number we use, and that should be it, um, so... Let's submit, and this passes, okay? Um, so this is another way to do it. Um, we can slightly make this easier to read by just doing something like this, because you don't need the digit number, and the number should be stay the same like that. Yep, this should work. Yeah, okay. So that works as well. That's another way to do it. Um, I wanted to show this really, like, in details and with the with what approach works, what approach doesn't work, so that you can learn a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I hope this was useful. I will do the r some of the remaining problems. Um, so stay tuned and see you on the next one. Bye.